Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft's strict system requirements to be able to run Windows 11 have been a bone of contention we've been talking about on this channel now for quite some time, where obviously your CPU and your TPM version 2 system requirements are the main two kind of components when it comes to hardware that has prevented a lot of users from upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Now, although this has been the case, as we have spoken about quite in depth on the channel, um, users have continued to bypass those system requirements um, to be able to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, even if CPUs and the TPM version is not up to standard regarding the system requirements of Windows 11. Now, just to let you know that a new little trick, for want of a better word, has been spotted that will let you be able to bypass the system requirements to install Windows 11 on older hardware that's not supported according to Microsoft. And this was spotted in the Windows 11 24H2 LTSC version of Windows, which stands for Long-Term Servicing Channel that was leaked online and I posted on that last week and that video will be in the description. Now this was spotted by Bob Pony who posted over on X and uh, if we just head to a little video um, that has been provided from that post, now we can see something interesting taking place. It mentions in the post that in Windows 11 LTSC setup OS selection page, when Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC is picked, it checks for the system requirements, just like regular Windows 11 does. Meanwhile, picking Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC will just skip the system requirement checks without workarounds. So basically, as we can see, just to point this out a little bit more in depth, with Windows 11 LTSC, when that's picked, it can't run. But if you pick Windows 11 IoT, you are then able to install um, Windows 11 long-term servicing channel on unsupported hardware. Now, at this stage, obviously, this is a leaked version and there's still a couple of uh, months to go before Windows 11 24H2 and also the LTSC version um, are released and addition are released to the general public. So at this stage, it's very hard to say if this will actually make its way into the so-called stable version of 24H2 LTSC, where you'll be able to bypass using this little workaround by clicking on IoT Enterprise instead of Enterprise LTSC. But I thought it was interesting because obviously I've seen a lot of comments on the channel where users are bypassing the system requirements and thought you may be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.